We've got the cure. It's called Sweet Republic, and it's in Scottsdale. Two words. Artisan ice cream. Wait, that's three. But you get the idea. We all love ice cream. The taste, relaxing. The sweet tooth, tamed. And of course, memories. It's all about just sort of like taking it back to the basic as well as um, exploring. Sweet Republic opened in May 2008. And that was actually a couple years in the making. Jan and I were investment bankers. We went through 9-11, got a wake-up call to call our passions. That passion was food, which turned to this creamy treat that can be a blank canvas for classic flavors and new ideas. It's a little bit of an art and a science, and I think that that's where, um, how we kind of fall into it, just because for us, food was a great passion, but at the same time, we wanted something that was contained enough that the two of us can handle every aspect of it. Because you can take the girls out of banking, but it's hard to take the bankers out of the girls. Um, so we wanted um, to make sure that we get the highest quality of everything. After doing their research on the not so glamorous side of ice cream, like how it will be served, how to sell it, and of course, the pint. Well, we make the ice cream every day, but you know, you take home a pint, it might sit in your fridge for a couple of weeks. We want to make sure that, you know, at the end of that two weeks, you're still getting really good ice cream. We're still using all natural ingredient and we're not using any artificial, like, plastic type stabilizer. Years later, Sweet Republic has created a sweet and locally inspired menu of artisan ice cream that changes seasonally, but keeps some neighborhood favorites too. So I'm going to be making a toffee banoffee for you. That's going to be a double scoop of Madagascar vanilla ice cream in a homemade waffle bowl with fresh banana, our house-made caramel sauce, as well as our made-from-scratch almond toffee, and of course, fresh whipped cream. Made to order, ice cream sandwich. This takes two of our made-from-scratch chocolate chip cookie, your favorite flavor of ice cream. One of my particular favorite is uh, our real mint chip, which is made from fresh mint leaves. That's what makes it real. It's not bottled mint, and that's where the green is from. Another cookie on top, and there you go, ice cream sandwich. The atmosphere is whatever you want it to be, a child's paradise, a date night, or just a quick escape for some me time with a bite of happiness. We just feel so incredibly lucky to, to love what we do and to have people appreciate it and to have our neighborhood support us and to have our local farmers. What I hope people get out of it is the taste of freshness, all the love, all the hard work that goes into every every ice cream and really enjoy it and hopefully tell their, all their friends about it and come back for more. It's just a combination of, you know, keeping that tension between comfort food and adventurous food and just trying to keep that balance going for a long, long time and hoping that everybody has fun making the ice cream as well as eating it. My last ad is, what's your favorite flavor? Of course, I would say all of it. But one toasty campfire treat comes to mind. So now we're going to be making the chocolate campfire s'more sundae. This is actually one of my favorite um, sundae that we have. It's a double scoop of our Belgian chocolate. We do make everything from scratch, including the chocolate paste that we use for the chocolate ice cream. Our hot fudge, pure chocolate, butter and cream, a dollop of fresh whipped cream, a little bit more drizzle of the hot fudge. Then we top it off with one of our homemade marshmallows. These are made from scratch in a tray. That's why they're square and not round. And now for some of my favorite part of this. And that's a campfire s'more. Trust me, delicious till the last crack of that waffle cone. Memories of sitting by the campfire could happen. <laughs>